Container House, the Sustainable Alternative. Welcome to the video presentation of Container House, the Sustainable Alternative. Made by Salvador Solis Rizzo, author of the books, Container House, the Affordable and Sustainable Alternative. Container House version 2.0, the Affordable and Sustainable Alternative, Spanish and English versions. In this video presentation the following topics will be addressed. Cargitecture, architecture with containers, container house, affordable and sustainable and finally, a panoramic vision will be given to a case study, with particular emphasis on its construction process. Cargitecture, architecture with containers. A shipping container is a cargo container for maritime or river transport, land transport and or multimodal transport. They are hermetic units, generally made of corton steel, and that protect goods from the weather. Its manufacture is carried out in accordance with the ISO 668 standard. Also, they are known by the name of ISO containers or maritime containers. Having defined the concept of cargo container, let us talk about its life cycle. This begins with its manufacture. Currently, around 90% of the containers, worldwide, are manufactured in China. In general terms, the useful life that they have as merchandise transport varies between 12 and 14 years. Period in which they are subjected to extreme conditions, such as, high solar radiation, high humidity, and salinity. At the end of their useful life, this is where a problem occurs, containers become obsolete and are stored empty in ports and, or in yards. There are two alternative solutions to this problem, A, its shipment to steel recycling furnaces and B, the reuse of these. If alternative B is chosen, a project is selected and started, developing with this a complete solution. According to the solution obtained, it is transported to the containers to be modified, preferably in the plant, or they are sent directly to the site, where the project will be carried out. Once the containers have been modified at the plant, they are sent to the site for assembly, or if they are already on site, with the corresponding modifications, their assembly is carried out. In this step, the use of the project, whether permanent or temporary, has already been determined. When the project's disassembly time has come, there are two options. A. If the project was determined to be permanent, it is disassembled and sent to the steel recycling furnaces, thereby marking the end of its useful life. B. If it was determined that the project was temporary, it is sent to the reuse step, rejoining the cycle, until it reaches the end of its useful life. Cargitecture, Architecture with Containers The cargitecture is a current of architecture that meets three of the basic concepts of ecology, three R's, recycle, reuse, and reduce. Oftentimes, once the containers are unloaded at the destination ports, they are discarded, as it is cheaper to buy a new one than to return it to its country of origin. According to IES, in an article last November 2020, there are approximately 17 million containers in the world, of which 6 million are used for transport or for any other practical use, and 11 million containers are not used, they are stalled in ports and or in yards. Cargitecture has become a functional building tool, attractive cost and friendly to the environment. Container House, Affordable and Sustainable Why is it said that a container house is affordable and sustainable? To answer this question, some of the main characteristics that identify a residential building applying the cargitecture are mentioned below. An earthquake-proof construction is feasible. Ease of stacking and fixing between containers. High probability of using shallow foundations. Containers are lightweight. Attractive costs. Availability. Eco-friendly building, ideal for the application of the concepts of sustainability, eco-technologies, and the principles of a passive house. Flexibility to make openings in the container. Proven strength, resistance, and durability in extreme conditions. Low complexity in workshop handling. Highly skilled labor is not required. Modularity. Mobility. 
feasible to achieve reduced construction times. Alternative use, permanent or temporary. Case study, construction process. In this segment of the video presentation, the case study, Grillic Water House will be addressed, which I consider a classic example of the application of residential cargitecture. Briefly, you will navigate through the planning, design and execution phases, giving special emphasis, in this last phase, to the construction process. The project was carried out by Patrick Bradley Architects in Magira, Woodland, Northern Ireland in 2014. This consists of a built area of 130 square meters and the cost of the project was 130,000 pounds. Northern Ireland is a country with high humidity levels and particularly, note that this site is located in the north central part of the country and has a nearby river. Some of the most relevant activities carried out during the planning phase were Identification of needs Crucial activity at the origin of any architectural project Consideration of the application of eco-technologies to achieve a sustainable building Building regulations Selection of containers, type, size, condition, etc. Conception of the project Required professional services Organization of construction Choice of terrain Calculation of the maximum budget Location of the different providers Etc. In the design phase, the following activities were primarily carried out. As can be seen in the image, the possible arrangements or configurations of the containers were determined. Definition of the main envelope type Preparation of project reports, plans and documentation. Descriptive, justifying, constructive, calculation and facilities and normative justification. Development of the construction strategy, as well as the specification of materials and services. Development of the purchasing strategy. Determination of the final budget. This is a very important activity, since it will be the economical axis of reference during the execution of the project etc. In this third phase, the execution phase, the construction process will be emphasized, especially in those items that are typically applied in residential cargitecture, in general, and particularly in those items that had a greater economic impact during the development of this project. These are identified by small arrows on the left. Laws and regulations. Legal procedures. The acquisition of the shipping containers and the choice of the site to carry out the modifications and reinforcement of their structure. The shipping containers have a monocoque body. They are strong and made to withstand loads on the floor well above what a typical construction requires. But by modifying them, making openings or altering components, they weaken. Determine the most suitable type of foundation. These last two activities are extremely relevant in cargitecture projects. The implantation, fixing and securing of the containers to each other. The realization of the installations, electrical, hydraulic, and sanitary. Glazing of windows and exterior doors. The placement of the interior doors. The placement of the divisions. Insulation and coating are high impact items in the performance of the final solution in architecture projects with containers. Cladding and interior floors. The determination of the type of cover. The use of the 3RS in the different components of the project, in addition to the application of eco-technologies to achieve their corresponding sustainability, etc. For used cargo containers of 45 feet long, type high cube, were acquired, whose cost was 2,500 pounds each. Due to the design carried out, it was necessary to carry out a structural analysis. With the results obtained, it was selected that the openings, modifications and structural reinforcement were carried out in the plant. Note that the topography of the selected terrain presents a soil with a steep and rocky slope. A soil analysis was carried out and the results obtained helped to determine the most suitable type of foundation for this project. It was necessary to carry out a heavy excavation to be able to level the soil of the site and make the foundation. The cost of the excavation was 12,000 pounds. 
Once the site was prepared, the selected surface foundation was carried out. The selected surface foundation was made of isolated concrete footings. With the ground leveled and prepared, the image shows the square surfaces of the footings where the containers will be installed. You can also see the connection points to the hydraulic and sanitary pipes. A septic tank was built and its cover can be seen in the lower right. Meanwhile, the structural reinforcement of the shipping containers in the plant was carried out, both inside and outside. The arrangement of the cargo containers will be, a pair of them in the lower part, and the other pair, placed perpendicularly, in the upper part. Resulting in a combination of two daring cantilevered shapes. In this aerial view, notice that a steel frame was mounted around each container. One of the advantages of carrying out the modifications to the containers and their corresponding structural reinforcement in the plant is that implantation tests of the containers can be carried out, such as the one carried out in this case. This makes it possible to verify that the work has been carried out properly and that the structures behave according to what has been calculated. It also gives the opportunity to correct faults prior to the final implementation on site. This image shows the detail of the interior steel columns used as structural reinforcement in one of the cargo containers. In this implantation test carried out in the plant, it is possible to observe, from one of the containers in the upper part, the other container, in a mirror configuration. Note that, in both containers, a substantial portion of one of their walls has been removed, as well as the doors. Reason why structural reinforcement is essential. The modifications and structural reinforcement of the shipping containers, both inside and outside, had a cost of £10,000. And its execution time was four months. Transporting the containers to the site, 20 miles from the plant, was a short journey. This is a factor to consider, as it helps to optimize the budget. In fact, the cost of cargo containers, generally, is lower if they are acquired in a port, and this tends to increase as the distance from the port to another acquisition point increases. The implantation of the containers, with the help of a crane on site, was carried out in five hours. The weight of each of the reinforced containers was seven tons. Orientation is a primary factor in obtaining the maximum benefits from cooling and or passive heating. For this project, located in a rural area, the environment allowed an adequate orientation. Two of the myths of cargitecture were duly resolved in this case study. One, with a right orientation and with adequate insulation and coating, as will be seen below, the belief that containers are hot metal boxes is demystified, and two, it is possible to stack containers in a perpendicular way, if the structure of these is duly reinforced, according to the results of the structural analysis carried out. The type of building selected was permanent and the fixing of the containers to each other was carried out with an arc welder. For temporary projects, there is a wide range of accessories for the mechanical fixing of containers to each other or for their anchoring. The geographical location and, specifically, the bioclimatic zone of the site is a highly relevant point to consider in order to achieve a project solution that provides adequate levels of comfort to users. It is highly recommended to obtain all the information available on the geographical area in question, such as solar radiation levels, temperature ranges, rainfall, and wind behavior for each of the months of the year, in addition to the corresponding thermal and seismic zones. This information will help provide typical solutions for a traditional construction, in addition to enhancing optimization in the application of eco-technologies. The shipping containers were insulated and waterproofed to prevent condensation that could rust metal surfaces. The image shows the placement and waterproofing of the flat roof cover. Adequate preparation was made in a part of the roof of the first level and in the roof of the second level for the placement of green roofs. The project has an interior lining and exterior cladding, with insulation only inside the house. Having an interior lining and exterior cladding and insulation in both sides would be ideal however, this would represent a high impact on the budget and a reduction in interior living space. Note that a wooden profile was chosen, sometimes it is metallic or mixed. 
This grid is part of the preparation to receive the internal thermal and acoustic insulation, which was carried out with the application of projected polyurethane foam and cost £7,000. Once the insulation foam residues were removed from the wooden grid, an interior lining was made with laminated plasterboard. The concept of applying the 3RS, reduce, reuse, and recycle. It is not only applicable to the use of cargo containers, for example, the image shows a fence made from the excavated rocks reused from the site. Preserving ecology is part of the essence of a sustainable building. As an example, the transplantation of a rock from the local environment is shown to form part of the landscaping of the project. For the exterior cladding, the installation of a ventilated facade was chosen. The containers on the upper level are covered with gray powder-coated expanded metal sheets while the lower level is covered with pre-rusted cord and steel plates. Green roofs reduce the noise level and improve the energy performance of a building. An extensive non-trafficable green roof was installed partially on the lower level and completely on the upper level. Observe in both cases part of the drainage system around the roofs. The degree of maintenance is minimal and the objective is to be carried out once or twice a year. Finally, the construction time of the container house was 10 months. Currently, Salvador Solis Rizzo is executing a project on the application of cargitecture to affordable and sustainable living spaces through the video channel on YouTube, Casa Contenedor, La Alternativa. In addition, it has the board, container house, architecture with containers, cargitecture, on Pinterest. You can also follow him on his author page on Amazon. The email address of each of the mentioned sites appears on the screen. For any questions or comments, please contact him at casacontender at yahoo.com. Thank you.